G'day. Today, I wanna to share why I reckon I shouldn't be a politician. But to champion the enduring principles of freedom and integrity, I might just have to become one. I'm Jack Carmody, or Jack Out The Back on YouTube. I'm pretty passionate about preserving Australia's rich farming heritage and advocating for the rights and livelihoods of our rural communities. You see, I'm not part of the populist politics that seems to dominate today. I question why politicians make decisions that hurt Australia and more so hurt Australians. It's clear that we no longer have leadership. We have a popularity contest focused on personalities and pleasing the violently vocal minorities, sacrificing our nation's sovereignty for supposed peace and security. Leadership isn't about being popular. It's about making decisions in your best judgment for the betterment of your people. I am not someone who would make decisions based on what will win me the most votes. I'm not interested in four year vote grabbing policies that are designed to keep politicians in a career. I wanna see the country and land improve with a vision for a brighter future. As Australians, we must take pride in our journey from a widely dispersed ancient culture with a history dating back thousands of years to a penal colony and finally to a nation that attracts people from all corners of the globe. Just as our ancestors overcame immense challenges to build this great nation, we too must rise to preserve and enhance their legacy. We need to shed the undue guilt for past actions. It's time to acknowledge and grow from our rich and diverse heritage. Above all, we must maintain our freedom. We must resist government overreach in every aspect of our lives. The government should be the enablers of markets, trade, prosperity and public goods, not tearing down industries like agriculture and live export. We cannot let the voices of those that would mindlessly change the way we live without thought to the impact on others or the facts. Can't let them drown out our own voices, nor should we stand by as our fundamental rights are eroded. Our right to free speech must be protected. Let us unite, not as divided factions, but as proud Australians committed to a common purpose. Together, we can confront the challenges that lie ahead and build a future worthy of our children and grandchildren. Let us embrace sensibility and common sense. Champion the needs of our regional communities and reclaim our rightful place as proud citizens in this great nation. To our farmers and regional communities, I pledge unwavering support to ensure that government policies bolster rather than hinder your vital contributions. To all Australians, I commit to policies grounded in common sense, integrity, and long-term prosperity for all. If I were to go down the line of politics, I would be making sacrifices for our country's future. I would sacrifice time on the land, time growing my business, and what I love the most, time with my family. But I am reminded, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. In our hands rests the future. Let us harness our collective strength determination and resilience to forge a path towards a brighter, more prosperous Australia. There is power in minority parties and politics. The strength presents itself in the diversity of ideas and backgrounds. There is the possibility that we can have a minor coalition party in charge of the direction of Western Australia. We're listening to you and we want to grow. Now, sensible people with normal common sense and family values who respect the growth and development of our nation without unnecessary government interference are who we should stand with. Now there are many more reasons why I shouldn't be a politician, but perhaps, just perhaps, those are the very reasons why I might have to stand up and help grow our country into something we can be proud to give to our children in the future. Thank you again for joining the fight. We are united by a common cause to support our farmers, protect our livelihoods and stand up for rural communities. 
We are here to voice our strong support to the Keep the Sheep campaign. There is an old quote I'd like you to leave with today in the knowledge that it has been proven time and time again. If the city dies, the country, we will build it. If the country dies, grass will grow on the city streets.